In this video I'm going to show you how to create an L-shaped base plate in Tekla which will require some manual modifications to the uh, standard base plate component. If we start with base plate 1004 and I pick the column and pick a point where I want the base plate to go it, it throws on a base plate. If I, uh, if I spin around you can see that it's just centralized on the column. If I now offset that and for this example here I think it's 65 we need to offset the base plate so that it then aligns with the, uh, the edge of the column and the edge of the slab. If I change that to uh, transparent, you can see how the bolt is sitting inside of the column, which we'll need to remove later on. Now I need to make some manual modifications and cut this base plate so that um, it forms the L shape, because there's no uh, option for that in the component. So if I select the component symbol, right click, and the first thing I want to do is explode the component. Just change it back to the rendered mode. Um, and now I want to put the, uh, the cutout in the, uh, in the base plate. So I'm just going to use the uh, polygon cut command pick the base plate and now pick the points around the base plate. So I'm going to start with the edge of the column out to that point, across to there, across to that midpoint and then across to close it off. So that's just very roughly picking the uh, the points there but you can see that's formed a nice uh, L-shaped plate now. Now we need to get rid of the bolts, the extra bolts we don't need. So if I change it back to transparent mode so I can have a look, we can see we've got these two diagonal bolts we need to get rid of. Uh, if I double click on the bolt group um, it, there's not really an option here of making an, uh, a diagonal bolt set, uh, not very easily anyway. The, I find the easiest way to do it is come down to the bottom toolbar set here and we've got the option of picking single bolts. If I change that down the bottom bottom row here, the selection to single bolts, now I can simply select the bolts I want to get rid of, press delete and pick that bolt, press delete and uh, we're done. Just remembering the final step is to turn your um, selection filters back to everything again, so turn that back on. Um, and now if I double click on that bolt, see how they've formed back into a bolt group, if I double click on that bolt, it's turned it into what they call an XY list. So um, so it is possible if you knew the uh, the syntax, you could change it to an XY list, but I find it's easier just to go and select the single bolt and delete them that way, and that uh, gets you the result you need. 